Hey YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net. As we were making a return here to Madden 20, the face of the franchise, Khalil Kelly, and this is episode 36. As uh, we are currently on a bye week right now, getting ready for the huge game coming up against the Kansas City Chiefs there in Arrowhead. We'll talk about that a little later. But right now, we're going to look, take a look at some of Khalil Kelly's numbers here, and of course, some of the Dolphins players' numbers here for this season. As you take a look at Khalil's uh, season goals here, he's trying to get to 5,000 passing yards here this season. And with the way he's playing right now, he may be coming up a little short of that. Currently right now, he's ranked number two in the league right now as he's in the top 2% of uh, players right now. As you take a look at some of his stats here. And of course, the young man has been showing off what he can do here. Now, they had a bit of a slow start starting the season off here, but things are starting to turn around now as uh, we have some pretty big games coming up like i said we got the chiefs coming up uh, i believe we have a game against the raiders uh we play i think this year we play uh, the afc west and uh, we'll, we got some pretty good of course we still have a game against the patriots still on the uh, list there to uh, i believe that's week 16 coming up uh, and of course we have we do also have a game against the uh, i think the redskins also too coming up here too uh, but as we take a look here, uh, there you see the stats or this is the standings right now of the entire NFL. Take a look at the AFC there. Of course, the Chiefs down there in the middle there. But of course, those are, that's a team that that uh, can play. Uh, you can play either way, depending how the how well they're, they're how they well they were in their last start. I should. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, Browns right now leading the pack there. Of course, Baker Mayfield is doing some things there in Cleveland. Uh, take a look at the Dolphins there. You see 6-2 and two there for us. Bills nipping our heels there. Patriots also 2 at 5-3. and three. And the Jets there in last place with a 3-4 and four record. Broncos and Chiefs right now tied in the AFC West with 3-4 and four record. Chargers at 3-5 and 2-6. And and or 2-5 or and five, I should say for the Raiders as they're also on their bye week this week. Lions there leading the pack there in AFC North. Uh, or NFC North I should say. 4-2. and two. Packers three and four, along with the Bears, and then the Vikings. They're in last place, and they're the worst team in the league right now, one and six. Saints five and two, uh, Panthers five and three, four and four Bucks, and a four or three and four Falcons there in the NFC South. Take a look at the East there in the NFC. Giants there five and two and one, uh, and then you see the Eagles there in last place in that division, one five and one. Uh, with the Redskins and the Cowboys there in the middle, four and three, and a two and five. As for the AF NFC West, uh, you got Rams at five and two, uh, Seahawks at five and three, 49ers at four and three, and the Cardinals three and four. Uh, and there you see what our numbers look like here so far. Here, like I said, we had a bit of a slow start. We lost that game against the Jets, but we came back to, uh, two weeks later, defeated the Jets 34-17. And then last we in the last episode, there you seen 34. 14 against the Chargers. There you see we've got the Chiefs, Seahawks. Uh, rest of these, really, you've got the six games are on the road and three games, I believe, at home or two games at home there uh, coming up. So, a bit of a uh, thing going on there for us. I think it's like six games, six or five games there on the road, I think, coming up. Uh, so, we've got a lot of road games coming up, and those road games will be very crucial and very important for us. And, of course, Khalil, you see 2,467 yards passed so far this season. 21 touchdowns, 8 interceptions there. He's throwing 72% of his passes for this season as he's been sacked 32 times. And that offensive line is still a problem there for us there in Miami. And uh, it's only it's, it's got to get better. we got to try to do a better job there in the offseason. And maybe more importantly, in the uh, in the offseason, we need to do some uh, big um do a better job of getting some big names there to help us there on the O-line because uh, he really needs that protection. He should not be getting sacked that many times. If he is, he's going to have a rough go there in Miami in the uh, many two years that he has left on his contract. As for the receiving numbers there, you take a look there. Kenny Stills almost getting close to 1,000 yards receiving here this year. He has eight touchdowns there. Uh, Kyle Rudolph has been a big asset there for us this year. He has 667 yards with five touchdowns. Albert Wilson, of course, he's going to be gone for quite a while. As he had a, uh, or he's going to be, uh, I should say, not I should say, uh, he's uh, been, you know, been 
been doing a good job there. I uh, wish we can utilize him a lot more. But he has 471 yards uh, receiving with two touchdowns. we got to get some more uh, throws to his way. Jalen Strong, same thing. Uh, 308 with five touchdowns, or please, eight, five or eight touchdowns this season. I'm not for sure there. I couldn't really read it that quick. But uh, take a look here, uh, our uh, offensive line there, and the sacks allow there. Kilgore with the most. He's given up eight. And take a look at the rest of your numbers there. Uh, but, yeah, we just got to get better on that offensive line there. And, of course, our defense is something that we also need to be more worried about there, too. Uh, I think our secondaries are getting better uh, by the way they've been playing here as of late. But uh, we got to have uh, that. We have a we need to have a mean and nasty defensive line to go in there and start ripping it apart and shredding uh, offensive lines uh, uh, players there. But uh, linebacker is going to be really crucial there, too. We need to have those guys step up. Uh, but like I said, the, the secondary there are, cor are corners and safeties. Um, you know, there's a couple guys there that need some work. But I think for the most part, they've been doing a better job than they were just a year ago. Um, especially with not all having all those injuries that we had last year uh, on the defensive side of the ball. So, uh, you know, we've got plenty of time to get better. We've got plenty of games to get, go through here and uh, to get to that point. And not to mention, uh, if we make some smart uh, picks here coming up in the uh, upcoming draft, uh, I think we'll be pretty well uh, set here. I think uh, now I think this Miami ball club here knows they got a bright future here with a uh, very good young man here at, at the cornerback, uh, the quarterback position, and I, I think they really want to do a do a better job there of protecting him. At least we hope they want they are going to be thinking that way there, and that's what they need to be doing here. Uh, for the uh, future to come, if they want to keep, especially if they want to keep him around here in Miami. So uh, yeah, I mean, to be quite honest, it's been tough playing here as my as a quarterback here for Miami. It's not uh, all you know, uh, great and everything. We do have some areas that we do need to fix, uh, like our def you know, some parts of our defense there. Especially, I really like personally. I think it's the defensive line that needs to be uh, does needs to be. Uh, Needs to be more aggressive defensively. Not to mention offensive line. Like I said, needs to be a, do a better job protecting the quarterback. Um, you know, uh, we do have a quarterback that can scramble, but I also too want him to be a guy that can he can show off his arm. He's just not all about his legs. He can, I mean he can make plays with his legs, but at the same time, well, I want to be able to make sure we can make uh, plays with his arm. So I want to protect that pocket, get him uh, to go throw down the field, and be able to have that protection so he can find guys who uh, need a little bit more extra time to get down the field and, uh, to get open uh, be able to throw to them take a look at the uh, right currently now uh, the today the season ended here of course Khalil would win the uh, MVP of course course of the year there uh, Brian Forrest but the season's not ended yet so those things could still change uh, take a look at the rest of you of the annual awards there you guys can check that pause the video there but we got a uh, couple of Dolphins here in the AFC uh, looking at the uh, possibility of winning, uh, like you see there, Xavier um, Har uh, Howard there, possibly winning the Defensive uh, Player of the Year. Of course, Rookie of the Year there. I don't think we have anybody on this list. Nope, we do not. Let's see Defensive Player of the Year. Same thing there. So, uh, you know, we you know we got plenty of time to try to get guys uh, like that here uh, to try to turn things around. And take a look at the running backs of the year. They got Bullers, who's been doing a great job uh, since uh, since uh, what's his name went down for the uh, hopefully not for the whole entire season. Uh, we're hoping we'll be able to bring him back here very soon. Uh, it's uh, Kendrick, uh, not Kendrick. Uh, uh, K, uh, I can't think of his name now. It's on my head now. It's just it's embarrassing. Uh, he's going to be out for quite a while, so Bowers is going to take over. And like I said, Bowers actually, uh, I think, uh, I can't remember exactly what episode it was, but I think it was like an episode or two ago. He had made some pretty good receiving catches there out of the backfield there. So I think we may see more of that coming up here uh, as he uh, has, uh, you know, been uh, has been upgraded to, uh, I think, star right now. Uh, not quite superstar just yet. And I've, I was actually looking at some of the, uh, numbers for some of the wide receivers and looks like uh, Jalen Strong uh, if we can have him have a couple of decent games here he could be ca getting called up for uh, a chance to uh, level up as a superstar for our squad there so that's gonna be really awesome to see as they will have now 
Uh, possibly if we get him up to the superstar status, we'll have two. We'll have him and Kenny Stills there. Uh, and then, of course, I'm really surprised that Kyle Rudolph is not one of those guys there. Uh, I, I have to check and see. Maybe I have to go before the next video. I have to check and see where he's at when it comes to that. But, um, you know, we could have Kyle Rudolph easily be a star. Uh, he, I would imagine he's a star right now. I don't know. Uh, superstar, he should be getting close. He's been in the league for quite a while now, and he does some great things. Uh, but we'll see. Because uh, uh, he's been really doing a great job there, catching balls there and uh, being our, kind of our safety valve there when it comes to needing a quick pass uh, for sort of short games stuff like that. Um, so he's been really helpful there. I'm really glad to see that we are able to pick him up after uh, during the offseason. Now, here we go in KC as we are we are in Kansas City, Missouri. Yes, the Chiefs play in Missouri, not Kansas. I don't know why people get that confused. But we are here at Arrowhead, one of the loudest. I think right now, I think they, they are the loudest stadium in the league. And we're going to have to uh, deal with that. Of course, Pat Mahomes and company here are going to try to do their best to get a victory here as they are in the middle of the pack in the uh, in NFC, or AFC West. As you see, there you see uh, Kelsey dancing uh, before in front of the crowd there and in Arrowhead. And we'll try to see if we can slow down these Chiefs. Now, Chiefs, after that, uh, after our bye week there, they are now 4-4. They lead the pack in the AFC West. They're trying to stay alive there. As you see, the Broncos right behind them, 3-5, along with the Chargers. And, of course, the Raiders. Uh, mathematically, I guess, cannot get back up there. But anything's possible when it comes to the NFL. So we're going to try to see if we can try to slow down these Chiefs. Take a look at the Chiefs. They lost the first two games there of the season. They came back and win the next two. Then they went back and lost to the Broncos there at home. Lost to the Falcons on the road. And then won against the, the uh, Buccaneers there just uh, there uh, just two weeks ago. And then just last week, the feet of the Broncos in mile high for a 31 to 7 game. Pat Mahomes in that game was 21 of 31, 288 yards, two passing touchdowns at mile high. And he is trying to see if he can get a another winning streak going here for himself. So Kelly's out here. We'll start off here with him. It's a first and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line, and that's going to be a handoff to the Bullridge. And Bullridge drops the football. It is picked up by the Chiefs, and the Chiefs are going to take this back for a score. The Chiefs make the first touchdown of the day off our first play. That is not how we want to start this one here today. As we'll take a look here and see that uh, hopefully we'll see that if the knee is down here, against this on this play here as Bullridge take a look here looks like the knee came down first before the ball popped out so if that's the case then it's not a fumble and uh, we'll see what the referees are going to say here on this play and they say it is uh, going to be a play that the, it's uh, going to be reversed it's going to be go back to the Dolphins so the Dolphins get lucky there as we go down to a two and seven here Bullridge is going to have to do a better job of holding on to that football as we go now to a three and five, uh, third and five for the Dolphins here. Ball in the 25-yard line. We'll see Kelly here drops back, fires this one there, and that is going to be for a catch there to uh, Kenny Stills as he gets the first down. So they're able to move the chains, and we'll see if that will continue here now on this drive. So this drive, this first drive is very important for us to get in here and show what we can do here offensively as Kelly drops back deep in the pocket there. That's going to be caught there. Nice catch. And that's a, a beautiful stop there from the Chiefs. But they give up enough there for the first down as Kyle Rudolph gets 18 yards on the play. And that's a nice first down for the Dolphins. 5.30 left here in the first quarter. Ball on the 46-yard line here for the Dolphins. That's Kelly here under center, first and 10. Trying to move the chains here and try to get a score here quickly. As we'll see, Bullridge here does a stutter step there. Gets, gets down the field here some and only gets about a couple there on the play. Go to now a third and nine, another third down conversion here for Kelly and the Dolphins. Kelly looking down the field here. Kelly can't find nobody until it's too late, and they're taken down. Clark gets the sack, and that's going to push him down back to the 46-yard line for fourth and 16. So we'll be forced to punt. Kansas City puts a seven on the board. They get that seven points back as they get down the field here quickly as Bullridge gets a catch there on that screen pass for a, just two yards on the play. Second and eight. Trying to get ourselves on the board here uh, for ourselves here 
as uh, Chiefs already up, leading seven here by Pat Mahomes. That's a beautiful catch down the middle there, and that's going to be a catch, and that's going to end the first quarter. So we switch up sides now here, start off the second quarter. Ball on the 40-yard line. So, again, not able to score here in the first quarter. We'll try to see what we can do here now in the second quarter. We're trailing by seven. Bullridge here trying to run this one and just trying to get this running game going here. Just having a tough time trying to penetrate that defensive line. As Kelly here drops back in the pocket, throws this one up the middle there to Kenny Steels. Steels gets this one at mere midfield for the first down. First and 10 now for the Dolphins as Kenny Stills now has two catches for 25 yards here today. We'll see if uh, we'll see any more passes going his way, which I'm sure we will. Bowridge here hey, runs this one there. He's going to hold on to it. He gets hit hard, and he gets inside the 40 there for the second and four. Ball on 39-yard line here at Kelly. Again, this time in shotgun here. He's going to drop back four wide, catch up the middle there. That's going to go to Rudolph, and that's another catch for Rudolph, and who gets another first down. First and 10 here for the Dolphins. Kelly, again, under center, and looks like they're going to hand this one off to Bullridge as Bullridge runs this one there, but he is going to get just barely a yard there on the play. As we go to a third, or to a second and nine now, ball on the 33-yard line, we're in Chiefs territory, as uh, we'll see what Kelly is going to do here now. Kelly, he's going to drive back here. Throws this one up the middle there to Jalen Strong, who gets a great catch. But Matt, Tyrell Matthew, the honey badger there, is hurt. He's going to have to come off the field there for a while. As we go now to a first and 10, ball on the 10-yard line. And of course, if the honey badger's off the field here, now we can have a chance now to throw deep here. As we'll see, Kelly's now going to try to get rid of this one here. Kelly throws this one there quickly, and the receiver catches it. Nice job there from Albert Wilson. Gets stopped at the 1. First, or second and one here, hand this one off to Bowers. Bowers cannot get into the end zone there as he's rejected there. So still at the one-yard line now, first and goal. We'll see if Kelly can try to maybe run this one himself here. So he's going to look like he's going to go ahead and go for the throw. Throws that one in the back of the end zone there to Albert Wilson, and that is a touchdown. Dolphins on the board now, and they could tie this one up now 7-all here. And they will do so here as it's 7-7. So we get some pretty bad field position here after the kick. And we'll see that the Chiefs do not score there. So that's nice as we'll see the ball on our own 8-yard line. And we get 4 on the play, putting us at the 12. It's third and 6. Another third down conversion here. We'll see if Kelly can make another uh, go here as he'll see this one. Oh, almost gets intercepted there. Dangerous pass there as he was double coverage there. And that's going to now to a 4-6 and six as they'll be forced to, of course, punt. So we're now, after that, the Kansas City Chiefs go down the field and score another touchdown, 14-7. to seven, As we'll see Boldridge get the handoff, and that'll be a run there for barely a gain of two there on the play. And the Dolphins will have to call a quick timeout as there's just 37, nine, or, uh, 37 or 39 seconds left here in the second. Ball in the 27-yard line here. Dolphins are trying to score here before the half, or at least try to get to a field goal, as we'll see a pass up the middle there. That's going to be a great catch there to Kenny Stills, and Stills is going to be stopped at the 47 there in Dolphins territory. So not quite near midfield here, but enough there to get us a little closer here. Maybe a chance now where we may be able to get at least three points out of this drive. As Kelly drops back here, throws this one up there. That's going to be tipped away and intended for Kenny Stills. If he would just wait a little bit sooner, I think he would have had a clear path there to Kenny Stills on that on that throw. Third and ten, Kelly drops back. He's looking in the pocket there. Throws this one quickly there. That's going to be intercepted and not what you want to do going to the halftime as O'Daniel kicks the catch. And that is going to end the drive here and possibly end any chance now to score something here in the first half. So we'll go down to the second half and we'll go into the third quarter. See, first and 10 now on the 21-yard line. Kelly and I formation. And this one off to Bowers there. Bowers is going to run this one, and that is going to be uh, just uh, shy of uh, six, six, seven yards on the play. Third and two. Kelly run, uh, drops back here, throws this one there, and that's a nice pass there to Albert Wilson, who gets this one at the 41. Four catches, 34 yards, and, of course, a touchdown there for him today. Nice day, and like I said, we got to get to the ball, give the ball to him more often. As Kelly drops back here after the snap, 
looks back. He's going to go ahead and take off here, and he's going to go for the – looks to get to the first down marker and gets the first down. 14 yards on that rush as that's his first carry of the day on the ground. First and 10 here, ball on the 45-yard line in Chiefs territory. As Kelly's going to drop back in the pocket here. He's looking. He's going to throw this one deep. Throws this one there. Nice catch, and that's going to go to Albert Wilson, who holds on to it after that big hit. 25 yards on that reception, and that's going to be a huge first down. So pretty even so far in play calling here. 17 passes, 13 runs uh, so far here for the Dolphins, as we'll see another run. There and that will be Bullridge as he barely gets a yard on the play. Second and eight, ball on the 18 yard line here. Kelly calling an audible here, draws back in the pocket here, goes to the right hand side there, throws this one up the middle there to Jalen Strong and Strong almost had that ball ripped away from him, but he holds on to it for a nice catch at the three. So they're inside the five now, as we'll see Tyrone Matthew back on the field. As he got that tackle there. First and goal here. Hand this one off to Bowers. Bowers going to go on the outside here. Bowers keep his legs moving here. Keep them turning. Goes to the pylon and gets out of, gets into the end zone there. And uh, hopefully that will stick there. As he did get to the pylon there. So it should be a touchdown. They, yes, they say it's a touchdown. As Bowers gets in there. And now they can tie this ball game up now with a field goal. As Bowers did a great job keeping those legs moving. Keeping them churning. And getting it, fighting for that extra yardage there as he gets to the pylon and does get into the end zone. Nice job, nice play, and nice effort there from Bullridge. 14-21 as Kansas City goes down, back down the field and get another touchdown. So all defensively, we really got to stop from Pat Mahomes there. But we'll see Bullridge here makes a nice run there, and that's going to get him to the 29 for a four-yard gain. That's a nice run from him uh, besides the one going to the end zone. Second and six, Kelly drops back in the pocket, rolls off to the right-hand side here. It's going to keep running here until he gets to the sticks, and he does get to the sticks for the first as he gets eight yards on that carry for first and ten. So 22 yards now on the ground here, his second carry of the game, as we'll see him audible here now. First and ten, ball on the 37-yard line. Kelly drops back in the pocket here, drops deep in the pocket, rolls to the left-hand side, decides to run here, decides to scramble, and slides. And gets to the 42. Great run there for him. Second and five. This is what this young man can do. He can do both. Run and pass here. He's going to show the, his arm off right there. And that's going to be a great catch there to Albert Wilson. As Wilson gets the catch for the first down. Another catch there from Albert Wilson. Getting now close to seven yards with six catches. Ball near midfield. First and ten. Kelly drops back in the pocket. Kelly's looking here. He's going to go deep in the pocket. There. Throws this one in there. That is going to go to Kyle Rudolph. Kyle Rudolph, the big tight end, gets the catch, and that's a gain of 20 on the play. That's a huge first down for him and for the Dolphins as now they're inside the Chiefs' territory. So now near the 20 now, ball in the 21-yard line to be exact. First and 10. We'll see the Chiefs still up by 7. Bullridge here runs this one, and Bullridge gets stopped there. Nice hit and nice stop. As they get into the backfield there, that's from Marsh, who gets the play. Second and 11. We'll see here, uh, possibly a pass play here as we had unsuccessful first down. So we'll see either Kelly may, may run this one or it may be a pass play here from Kelly. Either way, I'm sure he's going to try to get a first down here on this uh, attempt here. Kelly's going to go ahead and hunt, run here. Throws this one there. That's going to be a catch there to Kyle Rudolph, and that's going to be a touchdown. They tie this one up now here, 21 all. And Kyle Rudolph, nice passing touchdown there, his first in today's game, but his sixth of the season. And that is going to help the Dolphins get back into this ball game now. Tying this one up now, 21 all. Nice play there, nice hustle there from the big tight end. Like I said, he's been a very key asset here for us on offense when it comes to the passing game. So 21 all now here as we were able to stop the Chiefs from scoring. So now we have a chance now to try to take the lead here in this drive. Let's see Bullridge. Oh, that was a bad call there from the uh, offensive coordinator there as that one just gets bulldozed and it gets blown up. Loss of four on the play. Second and 14 now here for the Dolphins as we'll see the ball in the own 19. Kelly's going to drop back in the pocket there. Throws this one up there deep. That's going to be to Albert Wilson. Albert Wilson gets a great catch. Nice job there. Didn't want to leave him up there hanging too long, but he does come down with it. 
and gets 26 yards on the catch. First and 10 for the Dolphins. Dolphins looking very good here, very, uh, just, very, just, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know, I can't think of the word here, but just looking just confident here. That's what I'm looking for, confidence. As we'll see, an unnecessary roughness there from the Chiefs, and that is going to be on Thornhill, as that's going to put us now on the 20 of the Chiefs. So 15-yard penalty there, unnecessary roughness. Call, thank you for that. As we go now to a first and 10. Ball on the 20. Hand this one off there to Bullridge. And Bullridge here trying to keep his legs moving, and he does as he gets a couple yards on the play. Second and six. As we start the fourth quarter now, Kelly there. And he is calling audible here. He doesn't like what he sees from the defense. There's a blitz coming, and he cannot do anything as he just has to eat the sack and to lose the yardage there. Third and 16 now as O'Daniels gets his third tackle there in the game. Kelly could not do anything on that one there. He didn't want to just throw the ball anywhere. Smart kid. Third and 16 here. He just decides, no, he's going to go ahead and run this one himself. He's going to try to get to the first down marker, but he gets stopped. But wait a minute. There is a flag, and it's another roughing the pa or unnecessary roughness there from the Chiefs, this time coming from the Honey Badger. So this puts us now in the eight-yard line of the Chiefs. Third or First and goal now. And the Chiefs right now are probably living right now. I think Coach Andy Reid is probably just uh, beside himself now. How can you get, make a play like a dumb play like that when we had them? First and goal. Kelly drops back here, and that's going to be passed there. That gets tipped around, but nobody can get a hold of it. But Albert Wilson is hurt. He is gone. Well, he's going to go get some X-rays and find out what's going to. We'll find out what's going to happen to him afterwards. Kelly here drops back here looking for a slant play, and that one gets in there from Kenny Steele's touchdown. Dolphins, and the Dolphins are on the board here, and they take the lead for the first time today. It's going to be 28 to 21. Great pass there, and a great job there from Kenny Steele's taking it, getting the catch, and then taking a beating there on that catch. So Kelly's going to go back to the sidelines here, see. What Coach Flores wants to do next. 24 or 28-24 as the Chiefs were able to score three points in their last drive. Bullridge here now as an open wide space here trying to get around one defender and get stopped at midfield for a big run there. He is now getting close to 70 yards here. 19 carries and one touchdown. First and 10. Ball on, on the 49-yard line. Kelly drops back in the pocket here looking for some deep pass here. Throws this one. That gets tipped away. And that was intended for Rudolph. As we go now to a third and ten. Ball midfield. Kelly here trying to see what kind of play he can make here with his arm. He's going to throw this one there. Finds uh, Ru Rudolph there. And that is going to be a catch for a huge first down. 27 yards on that pass. And the ball is now at the 24-yard line. Great catch there. And I believe he's over the century mark here in today's game. So first and ten for the Dolphins once again now in Chiefs territory. Hand this one off to Bullridge. Bullridge doing a little shimmy move, but to get stopped there. And I believe he gets about two or three on the play. Third and six now here. Another third down for the Dolphins. As so far, he's been successful with third downs now. We'll see what Kelly can do now this time around. As we'll see a pass play there to Kenny Steels. And no problem for Kenny Steels. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. That's the second touchdown of the day now for Kenny Steeles. And his did a great job here as they are now taking control of this one now. It is going to be 35 to 24. Take a look at this play and this connection between these two. It's been very special now. And they have done a great job here today against these Kansas City Chiefs. Now. Surprisingly enough, their defense gets a force a turnover here and gets some good field position now for the Dolphins. We're in Chiefs territory now. We'll see here. Bullridge here is going to run this one here. Bullridge going for another touchdown and gets into the end zone there. Thank you, defense, for helping us out. Second rushing touchdown of the day. Nice job. And his ninth touchdown of the year here for Bullridge. Look at that. Keeps his legs moving there. Great blocking. Gets to the end zone with no problem. And that's going to put us now in a two-possession lead here now against these Kansas City Chiefs of all places here in Arrowhead. 
Talk about a game here for these Dolphins and for Bullridge and more importantly for our star here for Kelly. So here we are now under two minutes here. And all we have to do now is just run the football here and protect it. As Bullridge there is going to run this one there. They're going to have to call a quick timeout there, the Chiefs will. As it's 42-31 the as they're able to come back with a touchdown themselves. So now just a one possession game here. We'll see with two timeouts still remaining for the Chiefs here. We'll see the Dolphins here trying to run this ball again. Trying to keep this uh, clock moving as they'll again call another timeout to stop. And the Chiefs will call their second timeout now in this one. We'll go now to a third and four here. One more chance now to keep the clock moving here and, of course, keep possession of the of the, of the ball as we'll run this one here. But I think this one's going to be short there. And it's going to be, yeah, just short of the first as it's going to, the Chiefs going to call their last timeout. But the Chiefs cannot do anything as they get the ball back as the final score, 42-31, is your game. Both teams gave away interceptions in this one, or, or takeaways there, I should say. And But for the most part there, uh, we did a decent job there stopping Pat Mahomes. As you see there, he is frustrated. No other. Pat Mahomes, 29-41, 387. 7% 7 of passes were completed, 3 touchdowns. As for us, 20-28, 306. 71% 71 of 71 passes were completed. 4 touchdowns and 1 interception in that game. Bullrich, 25-95, 2 scores there for him. 5 broken tackles there in the game, most importantly there. Pat Mahomes also had a touching, a rushing touchdown there for himself. Five uh, carries for 31 yards. Kelly, no touchdowns, but he did have five uh, carries for 58 yards in the game. As for Albert Wilson, well, unfortunately, we got some bad news. So he had a great day there. Seven for 94 and with one score, but he has a broken collarbone, and he's going to be out for the next six weeks. Yeah, that is uh, not what we need right now at all <laughs> as we're just getting him going here and getting him moving and grooving there and him being one of the most important people in the offense besides him besides Kenny Stills and Rudolph Wilson was really making some catches there for us in third downs so I don't know who we're gonna go to um, I mean we have Kyle, Kyle Rudolph I guess uh, to help us out and then we also have Dwayne Allen but uh, I was really comfortable I think Kelly's more comfortable with and myself I should say is more comfortable with having Wilson there in those third downs. So we'll have to find out, see if who can step up to help us out in, the, in, those, in those types of situations there. But take a look at the defensive numbers there. O'Daniel and Howard both got interceptions in this game. Neither of them could take them back for six. As we take a look here and see, next week we are on the road once again in week 11 as we're going to be taking on, yeah, another team. And another, another statement that's pretty loud. It used to be the loudest stadium now. They're the second loudest, and that is the Seattle Seahawks. We're going to be on the road at CenturyLink, and we'll have to take them on there as they are 5-4 and four for the season, and they are really chomping at the bit to take down this young man here of what he's done so far this season. We already got a X-Factor linebacker challenge there from, uh, I believe, Bobby Wagner, and I believe we also have a challenge from uh, Russell Wilson in that, for that game. So, Stay tuned for that game and much more coming up in episode 37 as we take on the Seattle Sounders here in face of the franchise QB1 with Khalil Kelly. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Let's try to get 50 likes for this video. Not to mention, let's uh, for the newbies out there who are new to the channel, hit that uh, subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you guys can be a part of the nation here on ESGN, ESGN Net. Uh, also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord for the latest news and events on what's going on here on the channel and what's going on in sports and sports gaming. Also, uh, check us out on Patreon. We do have a Patreon page, as you guys can be a Patreon member here. we got some pretty cool uh, stuff there for you guys who join, and uh, that's another way you guys can be a part of the nation also help out the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time. Hey.